Well, hello again. Hello again, hello again, hey, hey, hey. Actually, I don't think that's how it goes. I, uh, I'm back in the bathroom. Again. It seems to never end. I mean, I've, I've had the, the bathroom like this for... <sighs> going on almost seven to eight months now. Mm, it's, it's pretty terrible. But I will have to admit that for most of those months, I was being really lazy. So, eh, it's all my own fault. And I keep getting frustrated. I, I think I fixed a new leak that popped up. I forgot to mention already. Lisa took a, a bath, took the first bath and did bath. See, science is an amazing thing because when you heat something up, anything, uh, liquid, solid, or gas, when you heat it up, it will expand. We heated the metal up for the connector to the new faucet, and sure enough, the metal expanded, and there was a catastrophic failure of said faucet, and hot water leaked everywhere. We weren't aware of it until after the bath. I looked under there because I heard some drip, 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 and I was like, oh my god, it's going everywhere. So, I fixed that earlier. It took me a good, like, 30, 45 minutes just to fix that because it's not easy to access. And now, I'm going to attempt to fix the leaks. Yes, plural, leaks. In the drain. And I've got my trusty caulk gun right here and then I'm going to attempt to fix the leak for the shower attachment for the tub and then I can reinstall the jacuzzi portion of the tub and everything will be done with the tub it's not true I still have to put walls up and everything how exciting found out the shower still leaks. Now it's a new leak. Somewhere in the middle, in the front. So I'll have to fix that. I don't think the sink leaks anymore. Go me. Uh, and I found a little surprise for you at the end. And it involves... Come here. Lysium. We just watched a documentary called We Live in Public. And it was... It was interesting. It wasn't good. Well, it was, it was good. It was interesting. We'll keep it at that. It was interesting. And it wasn't great, but it was uh, a look into how we are in the digital age and how we're looking for our, not our 15 minutes of fame, but our 15 minutes of fame every day. And it's it's pretty interesting. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, kitten. So check it out if you're really interested in that kind of stuff. And it made me really reflect on my vlogging adventures thus far. Because I've only made like seven or eight vlogs. So. And I hope I'm not like that kind of person. I'm sure if you asked Lisa, she'd tell you, oh yeah, he's definitely like one of those 15 minutes of fame kind of people. But I don't really want to be. Or do I? Alright. Happy Labor Day. See you later.